Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen and today we are in Newcrest and I am building another house for my Newcrest save file. If you are not aware, I am completely building Newcrest from top to bottom using only the base game and so if you're interested in seeing more of that then definitely check out my channel. I have built several houses already um i don't have the number right off the top of my head but i would say probably about six houses and then i have built one community lot and i actually have another community lot coming up i haven't built already and i just need to do a voiceover on it and publish it for you guys and i'm really excited about it i think it turned out super cute and so Definitely stay tuned for that if you are not already, then definitely subscribe so you can watch more of this series. Um, like I said, it is base game only, so this is going to be something that everybody can download. And I'm kind of planning on, once I get Newcrest done, I'll probably do the other base game worlds as well and then after that I'll probably just continue building onto it for like each of the packs that come out um like the expansion packs especially they have new worlds and so I will like kind of renovate each of the worlds using only that pack that it comes with plus the base game so it definitely is going to continue being a base game friendly uh save file like, if you only have base game and cats and dogs, for example, then I, in the town of um, Brindleton Bay, I will only use cats and dogs in base game. So, it will definitely be base game compatible even when I start going beyond the base game worlds. <laughs> and I'm quite excited to do that. It has been a little, you know, it's been fun doing just base game, don't get me wrong, but it's been a little, like, um just boring I guess I'd say um, you can only do so many different styles with base game <laughs> I originally started this save file saying that I was not going to do like a cookie cutter type of setting but it's almost in a way turning out that way I mean it's not exact it's not like the same house just plop down one after the other um, like that's easy that's a the save file would be done already if that was the case <laughs> But you see me keep panning over to the other houses that I built on the other side of the road. And that's just so that I can keep the same style without doing the exact same, um, like, details. Does that make sense? Um, hopefully it does. <laughs> I just, I want it to match, but I don't want it to be obvious that it's, like, copied off of each other, you know? So I think I pretty much achieved that none of the houses look exactly like this house so those like round windows in the front I had the hardest time using those windows but ever since I successfully used those windows I have been just addicted to using them I mean look how like pretty they are and you can use them just by themselves if, if it's a smaller wall or you can plop them down like right next to each other like I have it there in the front and I'll also put that on the back wall as well. Um, they, I think it just looks super cute and like pretty. And I love those windows and they're like super white and crisp. And so, um, yeah, you'll probably see me using those a lot more. <laughs> uh, so hopefully you guys like those windows as well. We are pretty much already done with the exterior of the house, like the house is built I don't add any additional walls or anything I'm just continuing on with the landscaping now and I actually really like the way that the landscaping turned out on this lot I use a lot of those like debug bushes that look you know they look like they have not been trimmed in a while <laughs> I think it gives it like a realistic look and as I was building this house I kind of was thinking of the family that might live here and so it ended up being two parents and then a teen girl and two twin children. And both of those are girls as well. So these parents have their hands full with all girls. And so it's a relatively big family that lives in this house. Uh, that It's like a five person family and there's only one bathroom. So if you end up playing my save file, um, you will definitely feel it in this house. It, 
it's definitely jam-packed and also oh by the way I just want to mention it while I'm over on this area I don't really know what I'm doing here um, it doesn't really look like much now and it doesn't really turn out to be that much either <laughs> if I'm being totally honest um, it just ends up being like a grill and then like a chess table, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, so it doesn't turn out to be much. I was going to put like a little like garden area over there, but there was just not enough room. And so, and I did not plan on anyone in this house actually liking gardening skill. And so, uh, yeah, um, I probably should have said like to garden. But um, yeah, sometimes I just say things weirdly. And so I, I said, um, like to gardening scale. Um, yeah, but you guys totally knew what I meant, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, and so I'm just like putting down some terrain paint now. We're pretty much getting the backyard and the front, like the whole yard's pretty much done. And so, um, yeah, it happened pretty quickly. Um, it's been a while since I have seen you guys, by the way, or talked to you guys. Um, I just, like I said in my previous videos, I started a new job and it just got to, I was just tired. Um, there's really nothing else to it. I just was tired after work and I couldn't find the time to actually build in the Sims and do voiceovers. But I think I'm getting back into the hang of it and so I really hope... I have more videos coming for you guys in the future. I do have like four different things already built and so I just have to do voiceover so there is definitely videos coming in the near future so definitely stay tuned. I really appreciate you guys being um, very patient with me during this and staying tuned and coming back to watch more videos so yeah like I was saying hopefully I will get back to doing um, twice a week if not three times a week I really would prefer to do three times a week but uh, yeah we will we will see and um, so what I was saying earlier before I got into that little area right here explaining what I'm doing here oh I didn't put a grill there I just put a chest table and a bird bath but uh yeah, I mean, it filled up the space. It, it look, It's different, okay? But um, I guess it's cute, right? <laughs> um, this house actually is one of two houses on this whole lot. So this is that, like, awkward, big lot in the, like, the cheap area of Newcrest, if you will. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. I don't remember, like, the actual name of the neighborhood right off the top of my head. But, um, yeah, it's like... It's the cheap neighborhood <laughs> and it's the one with the big lot. Like I threw ideas back and forth in my head. I did not know what I wanted to do with this lot in particular. And so um, I kind of just, um, I procrastinated on it. And so yeah, I finally decided what I'm going to do is build more than one house on this lot. And I don't like to do that because it makes it hard to play if you're doing two different families because they like to like live in each other's house and like go in their neighbor's pool. Um, you know, it's kind of weird. But I had this like really good idea and as I finished both of these houses already by the way, but the next house will be coming in the next video. Um, I, once I got done building all the houses and I made the family, I played it and it worked so good because it ends up being so this family of five is um, a mother and a father and then the three children right so the mother is actually her parents are the ones that live next door so it's her parents and then her brother as well also lives next door he is kind of I'll get more into them once I get over to their house but he's kind of like a Casanova type of thing almost like a Don Lothario, but not as bad as Don Lothario, okay? He's not as mean. He's not gonna move into someone's house that is like, he's with the mother and then he's also looking at the daughters. That whole weird scenario with Don Lothario, yeah. He's not that bad. He's just, you know, a grown man living in his parents' house. Um, yeah, so he's just focusing on himself and you know, all the women that he is dating. And yeah, so that is kind of 
the vibe with these two houses. They are family, so it's not as weird as if like her parents are over in her house and, and vice versa, you know? It's not so weird that they're all sharing each other's houses and garden and stuff because they're all like a really close knit family. Um, they do a lot together, hence why they live so close together. They're literally neighbors. And so, um, yeah, so a little bit about this family though. Um, the two parents and the three children that live here. I did record myself making this whole family. I do not think I'm actually going to post that though. Um, my Create a Sim uh, videos don't do as well. And I don't know, like with base game, you can only do so much, you know? So if you guys really like the Create a Sim family videos, then let me know. Um, cause I did record myself making this family and so I can totally post it, but, um, but yeah, we'll, we will see. Um, as of right now, I don't have any plans to, they turned out so good though. Like I absolutely love the family that lives in this whole big lot, like the whole eight Sim family with the grandparents and everything. I think it turned out so good and I tried to keep them different than all of the other Sims that I have put in this world already. Um, and I think I did a good job of doing that. I actually put, so the dad is like a bodybuilder, okay? He, I almost made him look kind of like a, like a tool in a way. <laughs> I don't know. It just turned out that way, okay? It just turned out that way. And then, so I put him as a bodybuilder and he's really into fitness and stuff. I probably should have put a treadmill or like one of those bench press things in this house somewhere, but I really didn't have any room. So we will just pretend that he does all of his gym activities at the actual gym. Um, I am planning on building a gym in Newcrest. I just, I don't really know how to go about it yet. I'm not that great with community lots at all. So we will see if I'm able to pull it off or not. <laughs> And then the mom, she's like, she loves mixology. And no, there's not, um, like, a bar in this house either. I really should figure out where to put a bar at, at least. Because I don't know where else she would be able to do her bartending skill at. Other than, like, at the house or, like, some random bar. But I kind of thought she was, like, a stay-at-home mom. And she's just really into doing her own thing. She loves makeup. She loves bartending. She loves, um hanging out with her girls and her parents and her husband and her brother too. They have quite the interesting relationship. They almost act like they're children still and they kind of fight like they're children still. I mean, that's just bound to happen when you live right next to your sibling your whole life. Um, I don't think you ever really grow out of that like fighting sibling phase um, or else I wouldn't think so. But um this room right here that I'm making right now is the teen, uh, teen's room. And so she's really into painting and I put some nail polish next to her bed. I thought that was a cute little touch. And then, um, yeah, she just really loves painting. So I tried to keep that true to the, to the style of her room. And I also tried to make her room look like different than all of the other teens rooms that I've done. And I think it turned out really cute. And I absolutely love those fairy lights from the holiday celebration um, free pack that they did like a while ago. I literally use them all the time. And yes, this is base game still. That That's a free pack. I think you can still get it, right? I hope so. Um, something else that I used were those pillows that recently came with that new thing that Sims was doing where you go and log in every day with the whole like the 30 day time period or whatever. I didn't make it to the vending machine and I was so mad at myself for that. I, I forgot that that whole event was going on. Okay. And so I, I should have just logged in every day to get all those, but it wasn't on my high priority list. And so I totally forgot about that, but I did snatch the pillow and the trait at least. And so I guess I'll take my winnings and not complain too much. I absolutely love those pillows. You can like move them up and actually place them on the couch. And I think they look so good. They make the base game couch look so much better. And so what do you guys think about those pillows? Do you like them as much as me? I know we had a pillow in like one of the kits or something, 
but I guess they just took that same pillow and kind of just put some solid swatches on it and made it base game, which is totally fine with me. I mean, who's going to buy those kits anyways besides me? And um, I'm, I'm not the smartest when it comes to purchasing Sims games. I just buy them all because I love The Sims so much. But um, I really don't use many of the kits, to be honest, so it's really not worth it at the end of the day. And so these, this room is the children's room. I did end up switching some stuff around in this room, like the bed. I had to move it just completely under the bunk bed. And so that was about it, and then I added like a teddy bear, I think. And so we are coming to the end very closely now. Um, I'm just finishing up some stuff in the kitchen. This kitchen is kind of on the bland side. There's nothing really special about it. It's it's a base game kitchen. Um, it's hard to really make base game kitchens look really full and cluttered like I like to make all of my other kitchens. And I kind of thought um, the mom in this house really didn't like cooking very much. And so they don't do a lot of cooking. They do a lot of pizza ordering and fast food takeout stuff. Um, that's just what they do. And even though dad's like a big like fitness guy, he he still likes him some McDonald's and some pizza, okay? He, he works out enough at the gym where he doesn't have to worry about it. And so, yeah guys, we are coming to the end now. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, then leave a like on it, a thumbs up, and also subscribe if you have not already. I will be making more videos in the near future. I have some more um, voiceovers that I need to be doing, so stay tuned. And like I said, the next video is going to be the house directly next to this one on the same lot. So with all of that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day or night, wherever you are. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.